Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And I use a lot of different water filters, whether I'm traveling locally, camping, hiking, overlanding, or traveling internationally. Um, and I've always tried to figure out, you know, a, a good solution. Sometimes I carry more than one. Um, and one area that I really wanted a, uh, a good filter had to do with kind of the water bottle form factor. Um, this one I used in Africa, it, was, it has a virus stat. It really didn't work all that well. Um, it's by Catadyne. Basically, two problems. One is it's very hard to uh, kind of suck the water through the entire filter system. And basically, you can only get it mouthful at a time, so it's harder to, you know, fill up a, a canteen or something like that or cooking. Um, there are lots of kind of straw designs. Here's a Sawyer. This one uh, you can also use an, as an inline filter if you want to set up a couple of uh, bags and use gravity over time. Um, of course, the life straws are common. These are always great backups. Uh, one thing, though, you don't have to put this down into the, the water that you're trying to, that you want to filter and drink. Uh, you can certainly put the water in another container, like scoop it up in a cup or a bottle or whatever you find, and then stick this in it closer and safer to your your mouth so you don't have to lean over. But anyway, the best one I've found lately is the Grail. And this is an outstanding filter design. They This one's about 100 bucks, though, um, which I, to me it's worth every cent. I would instantly get another. Well, I did, and that's where I'm headed with the video. But I do think this one is, uh, it's dialed dialed in enough that I can completely recommend it. I have used it non-stop for weeks on end. Um, just love it. So what we've got is a water bottle inside a water bottle, essentially. Um, if I pull this out, this is just empty, and you fill this with water. And then here is the filter. And the filter then slides in. There's an O-ring seal right around in here. And then Got one a little breathing room, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this cylinder down into the other, the larger cylinder full of water, and it's going to force the water through the filter into the clean area, which then now I can either drink, I can walk away with, store, pour in a pan, do whatever I want. How long does it take? Uh, seconds. And you're using essentially your body weight pushing down. Usually I get up above it and stand over the top. So you're able to filter um, kind of with the pressure of standard hand pumps, except it just takes seconds and uh, you end up being able to um, uh, fill this up, dump it out into something, say a reservoir, a camelback, do it again, do it again um, in a matter of minutes. It's that fast. So what would be better than something like this? Well, how about this? Here's my new favorite. Look at this, this is a full titanium grail. Um, it's a little bit smaller. They do make this size in plastic as well for about $89. These, the titanium ones, sell for about $200. And it has some other features. First of all, it's, it's kind of the same mechanism. It's two titanium cups, base or containers. This one is a fire safe titanium cup. So you can cook in this. You also, since this is essentially your initial dirty water reservoir, it has a little eyelet here so you could attach a string or a lanyard and throw it into or lower it down into a water source, scoop that up, put this in. Um, it's easiest if there's some breathing room there. And then you force that down and suddenly, oops, Drop my cap. Suddenly you've got uh, 16.9 ounces of pure water. So what does this take out? Um, rotaviruses, well, lots of different viruses, including rotaviruses and hepatitis A, bacteria like E. coli, salmonella, dysentery, um, giardia, cryptosporidium, um, amoebas. Uh, you get approximately, depending, uh, 40 gallons, they say, of water. But I would use these, actually I used this one when I was traveling just recently. Um, I've got another trip coming up that I'll be using this one on. But I would do local water. So if it's sorta clean or maybe a little questionable, even in large cities in America, um, you run it through here, it's not gonna really put a lot of stress on the filter. So you can keep using that probably longer. But if I use it like from the lake out here, um, if I get cleaner, you know, water, it's not packed with sediment, stuff like that, I'm going to do a lot better um, as far as the filter life. But honestly, um, it's, it's a great idea. I also have extra filters. If you look at this, 
these filters um, just pop off. Rotate that here. Oh, this one's different, sorry, than that one. I need to release the, the switch here. There we go. Okay, now I can take this one out, unscrew it. That's what it looks like. It also has a, uh, a one-way valve, so you don't risk allowing any water from in here um, to mix with the, the other water, under, even under pressure. But this is a really slick design. Um, and pop that in. The filters are only about 26 bucks, which if you bought uh, replacement filters, especially ceramic ones, that's, that's a great deal. Um, overall, I'm, I'm impressed with the grails. I mean, literally, it's, it's one of the best things I can imagine. Um, you know, it's that fast to make purified water. And since you can get your body weight onto it, um, even if you're um, uh, not very strong, you can actually usually get these things to filter quite fast. The other thing, there is a little bit of water at the bottom. If there's some sediment, you can let it sit still for a little bit. Sometimes that helps, but generally it's not creating much of a, um, a damage because it's kind of like a multi-stage filter inside. But anyway, that's it. Uh, gets rid of all your heavy metals, chemicals, um, chlorine, chloroform. I mean, there's, it's just amazing how good these things are. So that's the grail water filter. And with that, dock out.